This is to tell you some more about Living Your Heart Song. So really, this is going to be an adventure from imbalance to balance or disharmony to harmony. Even you could be extreme and say from chaos to unity because through our yoga practice, threading through that some sound healing, we're going to take the seven steps of the chakra system. So we're going to be moving and the whole thing is about balance. So while we take our practice through the body, we'll also be aware of how that impacts our lives on many levels. Now, when we work through these steps, we'll be gaining a sense at the base of foundation, security, and then into our hips, into a feeling of fluidity, in touch with our feelings, into the navel center, which is all about energy and empowerment, then to the heart, love and peace, and to the throat, our truth and how we express that in our lives, and to the third eye, very much about clarity, our imagination, and then to the top, to the crown, all about feeling connected and around our body for our radiance. So these are all the talents that we are just going to take a little bit of a look at through our bodies, through sound, in order to gain balance. And then with this sense of balance, we're going to be focusing and drawing the awareness back to the heart space. Here we go with the Living Your Heart song. I really believe that when we tap into the truth of our heart and we're able to express it in whatever way that means for us, it doesn't mean to say you're writing your next symphony or, or whatever it is, it's about being inspired in your life, feeling the potential to create something or just be your truth. That has a direct impact on your health. You'll find your physical, mental, emotional well-being improving, your immunity, the way you relate to people, the way you relate to yourself. This is what we're seeking with Living Your Heart Song. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about the practicality. So keep listening if you want to find out more about the details. It's all written down, but you might like to just have me say it, so I'm going to say it. So over the 21 days, we'll, we'll spend three days on each of these seven steps. And your third day is going to be a bit of a day off. You're going to process, catch up. There's going to be self-care and lifestyle tweaks. So you might want to play around with those and see how those fit into your life. You're going to be getting a mantra for each of the seven steps. Now this mantra uh, has been chosen because it vibrates the qualities of that energy center and you're going to get a relaxation and then on days one and two you'll also be having your yoga sequence which will be no more than 20 minutes long so all in all if you can set aside 30 minutes a day for 21 days that is going to be more than enough yeah, so then finally, all that's left to say is please, if you don't have one already, get yourself the best mat you can and sign up on the link below. And I really look forward to seeing you on launch day of Living Your Heart Song. Satnam. Namaste. Thank you.